I'm sitting with this deep experience of soul joy and seeing all our relationships through the lens of this spiritual journey of our souls, right? What if we look at each other and see the souls on their journey, exploring, learning, healing, evolving, expanding? And one of the biggest pieces that are given to us in this physical form, in this lifetime, is how we choose to relate to each other. This piece is central on our soul's revolution, because when we come here, it's, why we, it's like we have this amnesia, we don't exactly remember in any tangible form where we come from, we're born with this feeling of new beginning. And that's beautiful because otherwise we would be <laughs> insanely overwhelmed by all the layers that we experience over our lifetimes. Yet there is deeper longing, there is deeper guidance, there is deeper connection within us back to our spiritual self, back to our soul. And all the people that we relate to in this world have the same setting. They're also connected to their souls and they're also journeying with us. So what if we shift our perception of our relationships with each other and see each other as souls traveling through time space in the physical form remembering the divine grace and the depth of our beings. This revelation came to me through recent experience of losing one of the best and old, oldest <laughs> friends who lived in Ukraine and we became friends when I started skydiving Many of you know that skydiving was a life-changing activity, discovery for me that basically formed my human personality and helped me find my essence and wiring to be able to navigate this life. Because before that, before I discovered skydiving, I was a bit lost. <laughs> I was confused of how to relate to other humans. I was confused about the society I was living in and the rules of how we're supposed to relate to each other and what we're supposed to do. I studied social political sciences, I believe, because I wanted to understand why we relate to each other this way and why we live in society this way because it didn't make sense to me but the answers came not from my degree in social political sciences the answers came through discovering skydiving and making the soul friends making these friendships with other souls who were courageous and who were daring to explore this embodiment in a very intense form by jumping out of the airplane. So my friend was the soul that I got to know at a very early age okay, when I was 20 and we were in the skydiving class together graduating those tests that you have to go through and become an independent skydiver. And there was such a beautiful time of my life that I always cherish as a foundational memory and a point of reference. And he was part of it. He also later on invited me to be 
the godmother for his son and it was such a privilege and the way i see it now it's like this spiritual connection <laughs> that was really aligned with this invitation like it's the, the soul connection that we had so i've been sitting in this space connecting with with his soul and there's so many revelations and so many mm, downloads that come through that i believe are so valuable to share not just for me but to share through the work that i'm doing in the world and i feel it's very important to share it while i sit when i was sitting with this loss and this connection suddenly i become aware that our relationship was much deeper than i originally thought or maybe i just didn't take time to feel into this soul connection because it was always there it was always available and the way we used to relate when i lived in ukraine was through this friendship through skydiving through this feeling of belonging to a spiritual tribe even though we never talked exactly about spirituality it was deeply soulful belonging to this tribe and to the souls that you just know how connected you are and you just know that you're just so there for each other so after this <laughs> deep and long journey of self-exploration and all these spiritual practices I've been exploring and discovering. When I moved to California and studied transpersonal psychology and Tantra and NVC and tribal technology, all kinds of things and engaged in a very active experiential activities. <laughs> I learned how to relate to other souls on a deeper level, I learned to be more vulnerable, learn to be more aware of how it can show up on a deeper level and actually find words for deeper layers of who I am and how I can relate to people. I formed amazing friendships uh, here in the United States as well with people who are all from all over the world especially when we went through growth transpersonal training and that gave me a new channel that is available now but was not available when i used to live in ukraine so when i connect to my friend soul through that channel it becomes our connection becomes so much richer and so much more meaningful and symbolic and uh, energetic gravity of this connection is very strong it's like i feel like he was holding space uh, for me and for the entire city because he was um, in the city government and his capacity to hold space this masculine sick the quality of the divine masculine was so powerful and still is in a way like i feel still here so the way i see it we do need to find time to spend with the souls of people who are transitioning right they are leaving this physical space and before they take off to their next journey of soul adventure and growth and exploration we want to spend some time with them because they're still here their presence is still very obvious and they're still very connected to this incarnation that just they just experienced and this is very precious time to spend with our friends and our, our beloved ones and it's very important to actually find that time not to find it give ourselves excuses that we're so busy and there are so much other things to do this is how we make our relationship so shallow and so fake in a way because we neglect the depth and the timing 
and in the energetics uh, of these soul connections. So it, I've been shown so much recently on this journey and actually had a lucid dream last night where we could really connect and not talk, but it was more like energetic presence experience. And I'm given so much energetic, so many energetic downloads that I believe can help in my work, help the people I work with and help the people who I attracted to my field and my work overall. Uh, one of the biggest insights also of this um, experience that I'm having now is really acknowledging my sole purpose that I am a relationship explorer and the way I'm wired and the way I'm supposed to show up in this lifetime is to break the chains of conditioning of how we're supposed to relate to each other and really go to the depth of the soul connection that is always unique, that is always creative and there are no limitations of how we can express it. There is no right and wrong. Uh, the way to navigate the relationship is through this mm, intuitive, energetic perception of what feels good and daring to go deeper and not being afraid or embarrassed to uh, be connected to someone, no matter who they are, just based on this internal guidance, right? And being able to be vulnerable to say like, yes, this is beautiful connection. I would love to explore it. I would like to see what we can learn from each other, how we can support each other, what we can co-create. And um, that can completely transform the whole world, right? Because the way we relate right now in the society is very role-based, right? template based it's like you have the assigned role and you have to perform in within that template and when you cross the boundaries of that template is not well received because it creates confusion and it creates fear in people who are in our field right in our environment it's more safe to stay in, within the template template like parents and children um, husband and wife, brother and sister, boyfriend and girlfriend, right? And the temp the amount of templates are very, is very limited, right? So many of us struggle to be authentic within these templates. And um, that's why people lie, right? That's why people can connect. Uh, that's why people build up resentment towards each other even when they love each other because they're trying to relate to each other from the place of these templates of shoulds rights and wrongs and the role based you know rules of relating and when we break free from those rules this is when we can be overwhelmed with <laughs> all the energy that becomes free finally and you you can just <laughs> bathe in abundance of love and connection and creativity and diversity <laughs> of human relationships. So this is my message and I would be really happy to go deeper with this and create more pathways and tools of how we can liberate ourselves from this societal relationship templates and chains and how we can allow ourselves to to really appreciate acknowledge and love every single soul in our life and understand that we're all teachers for each other's each other and we're all students we're here to learn and grow together and whatever we feel within deep within ourselves beyond our wounding <laughs> On the spiritual level, that's the real gem. That's the real reason why we're here. 